So in order to use Transpose Master, you need at least two subtools in your C tool. So if your sculpt only consists of one subtool, you can simply just append a random C sphere, for example. That way you'll have two subtools here. And now I can go up to C plugin and I'm just going to dock it over to the left tray here and I can find Transpose Master and we're going to use C sphere rig. So I'm going to enable that and I'm going to make sure I have my demo soldier selected and hit T post mesh. And now I can use C spheres to build a skeleton. So I want a C sphere for every joint or wherever I want the mesh to bend. So this is going to be our root joint. So that's going to be our start. So I'm going to hit W to enter move. And since my model is symmetrical, I want to enable symmetry so that the rig gets mirrored over to the other side. And now I can move this up and create the first joint. And I'm going to hit Q to enter draw mode. And when I hover over the C sphere here and click and drag, I can draw a new sphere. I'm going to hit W to enter move and move it up. Q to draw a new C sphere like so. W to move it out to the shoulders. Jump into side view and make sure that they are in the right position. Q again, create the upper arm. And to make sure I don't accidentally move additional C spheres, I'm going to reduce my draw size to one. So W to move, I'm going to move it down to the elbow. Q to create the forearm. W to move it down like so. And since this is just to demonstrate, I'm not going to do the fingers, but I want a neck. So I'm going to hit Q to draw a new C sphere here. W, move it up, go to the side view, make sure it's placed correctly. Q, add one last joint for the head. W, move it up like so. And maybe I actually want one more spine joint. So again, it's Q, click in between here. That'll add a new joint in the middle here. And maybe I want to scale it a little bit down so it's easier to see what's going on here. So I can hit E to scale and scale it down. Maybe this one as well, scale it down. W, move it down a little bit. And now I can go down to rigging and bind mesh. And that's gonna attach the mesh to the skeleton. So now using the rotate function, I can pose the model, but we can see we get some awkward results uh, around these parts. And that's because the geometry in these areas don't know if it's going to move with the arm or the spine. So let's undo that. Control C, Control C, and I'm going to disable bind mesh. So wherever I'm not happy with the deformation, for example, I don't want this part here to be influenced by the upper arm here. I can create sort of a cage if I enable draw mode again. I'm going to make some joints that these parts of the geometry can attach to. So if I try to bind mesh again, and if I try to rotate now, we can see that this part of the geometry sticks to these joints instead. So we need something here as well. So I can unbind the mesh, Q, create a cage down here. Like so, bind mesh, rotate, so now these parts here attaches to these joints instead. So now when I'm done posting the model, I can go over to the transpose master here and click T post to subtools. And now I have a post character that I can continue working on if I want to.